And you know what's crazy, Jake, is that last year, teams stacked the box as well. Kevin Harris didn't care. And I want to talk about He's that really running game back. because, yes, Kevin Harris, nobody saw that coming last year. It's like, who the heck is this guy, the best running back you've never heard of? You know, when Marshawn Lloyd went down in the preseason, mm-hmm. I thought that was pretty much it for the South Carolina offense. I was like, okay, we're going to average 20 points per game. Colin Hill's a statue, you know, and God bless Colin Hill. I got nothing against yeah. the kid. But, yeah. you know, there were definitely limitations there. And you just thought to yourself, my goodness, we just lost our home run threat. Everyone was counting on Marshawn Lloyd to be the focal point of the South Carolina offense, including yours truly. Kevin Harris, what he did last year, he now enter this, enters this 2021 season, as I would say, one of the best two or three running backs in the SEC. Mm-hmm. Some would argue he is the best returning running back in the SEC. And then you factor in a guy like Marshawn Lloyd that, Jake, I really believe, you know, he's still rehabbing right now and should be 100% good to go at latest by fall camp, I would say, certainly kickoff. But if Marshawn Lloyd is the, the guy we all heard about on the recruiting trail, the scary part, Jake, I think he's going to be better than Kevin yeah. Harris is. And when you talk about that one-two punch, I would love to hear – how good do you think that one-two punch for Sal kind of could be? Where do you think it ranks amongst the SEC's best running back duos? Well, you know, it's funny, Chris. Last year before the season, I was all on the Marshawn Lloyd hype train for South Carolina. I thought he was going to be the breakout. I thought he had a chance to be newcomer of the year yeah. in the league because they were going to lean on him. You best believe Will Muschamp, mm-hmm. they were going to lean on him. But, uh, you know, sometimes it's crazy. You have somebody like that go down. Now you've stacked your room even more. Kevin Harris is as confident as anybody, and they're two different backs. You don't win these games with just rolling the same type guy out there. Now you can go 20 personnel, two backs, and have two totally different guys. You can run one on the swing, run the read underneath, and really have a problem. Uh, And it really helps you on third down as well because the back, the check down, is a very deadly play if you know how to use it right. But Marshawn Lloyd, we know he's a home run hitter. Uh, And nowadays with, with the medical advancements, as strong as some of these young guys are in the strength and conditioning program, I'm sure he'll be back and fine, but he's got to take it from Kevin Harris. Mm. You know, Kevin Harris earned those guys in that locker room. They saw those runs. They saw him. That dude's a load and he can move. He moves a whole lot better at that size uh, than what I thought. But now if if you're Shane Beamer, uh, you know, uh, last year, I know he wasn't there, but you lost one last year, but you almost gained one. And I think if you look at that, that duo and it does nothing but help a guy like Luke Doty, in the run game because now you have to worry about Marshawn Lloyd you have to worry about Kevin Harris and you have to worry about Luke Doty and that's a problem having to defend all those things and keeping your eyes in the right spot I think that they if Lloyd is like you said what we think he is or what he was built up to be even coming off this injury you're going to be hard pressed you know outside of Alabama in my opinion uh Georgia's really loaded with backs uh but you're looking at one two They're up there, man. Uh, You know, I think Tank Bigsby is obviously one of the most talented in the country at Auburn. But if you're South Carolina, you got to feel great about the run game. And if you can marry that with four offensive line starters coming back and they play well and they're confident, you can really – you know, that's how Kentucky started having a lot of success. They built it from the inside out and relied on that. And I think you could see South Carolina – not only stay in a few games you don't think they can stay in, but maybe win a couple that you don't think they can win. Because, listen, if you can run the ball and you can stop the run and you don't turn the ball over, you're always going to have a chance to win.